So in today's video, I'm going to be using Cowan Gate milk. Always check your milk as different milks, for example, reflux milk or allergy milk, have different ways of making them. So always check the instructions for your milk. So first step, give your hands a good wash with an anti-back soap and then dry them. When making a bottle, you always want to use fresh water. Never reboil the water that's in your kettle for making bottles. So go ahead, empty out the water and then refill it with some fresh water out of the tap. You don't have to fill the kettle all the way, I'll just put in the amount I need. Now you can go ahead and boil your water. Once it's boiled, leave it for around 5 or 10 minutes to cool slightly, but no longer than half an hour, so your water's hot enough to kill any bacteria that may be in the milk. So next you want to get your bottle out of your steriliser. If you're using a cold water steriliser like me, make sure you shake them off. You can swirl them off, but it must be done with boiling water. I don't, I just give them a good shake in the sink and make sure any excess water is out. I use a butter knife to level off my scoops as I just find it better. Um, I just swirl it under with boiling water to make sure it's sterile. Again, always read the instructions on your milk so you know you're following the instructions correctly. This one requires boiling water, as I said, to cool down slightly, no longer than 30 minutes. Something else I use are these little pots. They're Tommy Tippy pots. I will leave a link down below. I use these because I find sometimes if you hold the scoop over your bottle with the boiling water in or the steam um, makes the milk stick to the scoop and it's hard to do. Um, always ensure, obviously, if any milk does stick in your scoop that you scrape the inside of the scoop so you're making sure you are getting the correct amount. Don't obviously scrape the outside of the scoop because that's not counted um, as your milk portion. So scoop your milk, make sure it's level using a knife or the piece that comes um, in the tub and count out however many you need for your bottle. Um, as you can see, I do scrape off the inside to make sure it's all emptied. Freddy is on 6 ounces, which is 180 mils if you do it in millilitres. So for every 30 millilitres, you use one scoop. Or obviously, every ounce, you use one scoop. So it's 6 I'm putting into my pot, making sure all the milk is out of the inside of my pot. If the milk is stuck, I do just swill it with water and then boiling water, shake it off and clip it back into my pot. So next I pour in my boiling water. Like I said, Freddy's on 180 mils, so I pour it to that line. I do then get down an eye level and just check it's exactly 180 mils. Then pour in my pot and have a look if all the milk is in if it needs scraping i'll give it a scrape out to make sure i've got every last bit of milk in and then i'll just go ahead and put the lid on so screw the teat in first with using the ring and make sure it's on properly pop the lid on and give it a shake i like to do this in a few second intervals take the lid off um, because the pressure does build up with it being boiling and then pop the lid on shake again and repeat, take it off, and then I can give it a good shake, making sure that I've mixed all the milk in thoroughly. Then one last time, I'll just take the lid off to relieve the pressure before I put it in the sink. Now I just pop the plug in, pop my bottle in, and turn the cold water on. I don't take the cold water all up to the top. You want to take the cold water up to wherever your measurement is. So obviously mine is 180, so I'll just let the cold water fill up to there. If you do it above, the bottle will tip over. Um, and you will get water in the lid so obviously cold water is going on the teeth and before it has tipped over and cold water has seeped into the actual bottle um, obviously that's not safe so we don't want that happening after about five minutes come back and check your bottle give it a quick shake to mix it up always test it on your wrist as this is a really sensitive part of your body so you know it's going to be the right temperature if you're ever unsure do double check and leave it in for longer rather than taking it out too early and that's it we're all done if you like this video please give me a like comment and subscribe